All right, Rob, uh, speaking of matchups, Sunday is one of the bigger games of the year. You know, you've, you have these games, San Francisco, Dallas, Philly, Dallas, um, Kansas City, and uh, even Detroit early in the year. I mean, Detroit, I thought they'd be good, but a lot of people didn't know how good they'd be. But you have these big-time matchups of some of the top teams uh, during the regular season. And we've got one Sunday, and that is San Francisco at Philadelphia. And shockingly, I think the line is still two and a half points, but shockingly, Philadelphia, which has the 10 and one record, best in the league, Philadelphia, which is at home, and Philadelphia, which pounded the 49ers, now albeit the 49ers without a quarterback. They hurt Brock Purdy and hurt his backup, pounded them in the NFC title game a year ago. And yet the 49ers are the favorites. Here's uh, Is this Nick Sirianni or Kyle Shanahan talking about it? Here's 49ers coach Kyle Shanahan talking about that. I believe at all that you guys are the favorites going into this game. They're the home team. They, they've lost one game, but you're the favorites. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I don't really know how that stuff works, so um, I don't really know why. But it is random. Rob, you fancy yourself a betting man. You know why? Yeah. I'm telling you, they want to entice people to bet on both sides of it because then they say, wait a minute, this doesn't make any sense. Maybe they know something that I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, that's what Vegas – praise on Chris if it was so obvious on everything that like sometimes you look at spreads I told you the other day like I looked at the Vikings Bears you looked at that and it was like the the Vikings were only three point favorites against the bad Bears at home I was like that's like a that's like a pick 'em game how how was that the spread well they wanted to try to get people to think something was going on and guess what something was going on and they right. got it right and that's what it is. So sometimes when you look at spreads, it's not Vegas saying that they know who's going to win. They have to make the line appealing to both sides. Because you got to remember, if, say, you bet money line, Chris, on a game, you have to pay in. You you pay like – you have to put up $110 to win 100 You see what I'm saying? Right. So if they get enough people to, to play both sides – and it's a 50-50, they're going to win on that because of the people who are losing the, the extra $10. They make money. So so what you want to do is make a spread to get as much action on both sides, and then Vegas wins regardless of who wins. You well, get here's it? What I you would, don't want it to I, be lopsided 75-25. I, I would ask you if that's the case, and I think I'm sure some of that's true. I, I, I don't know about these things, but um, – why don't we see it more often? Because the Eagles are the first ten and one underdog ever at home. So why don't we see more? You know, if they're just doing it to get people to bet, why is it so I, rare I, that something like this is this yeah, type of line happens? I, I, I have no idea there, but I'm saying in general, it's not based on who they think is going to win. It's just trying to entice people to to bet both sides. So I don't I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe Vegas looks at it and says, sure, Phillies won all these games. A lot of them were close, could have gone either way. Uh, the last game they needed a miracle to beat Buffalo at home, right, Chris, in overtime. They needed a miracle at the – I mean, like they start to look at things like that. Maybe it's just uh, they're due. They're due to lose a game. They're 10-1. They've been skating. They've been uh, – Lucky to last three or four games, and, and now here comes uh, – they're going to finally get their comeuppance and lose and lose a game. They've won so many. So it could be Rob stuff like G, that. you were telling me something. I couldn't pick – Oh, I was just saying, according to the updated odds, BetMGM, Lamar Mitchell, friend of the show, you mentioned two and a half. That line has been bet all the way up to Niners minus three wow. in Philadelphia. And three okay. is a key number. I know, Chris, you probably aren't as deep in the betting, but Rob knows he's lost tons of money Yes, when the number's at three versus two and a half or three Two and, and a half, half Chris, no, is where you want to bet or three. Right. right. And, and again, it could we, be a We tied. Our one tie in uh, picks and pickoffs. Was a push, right. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah, look, I, I don't 
there is no, to me, it's disrespectful to the Eagles. Now, I say that, Rob, as a guy, I picked the Eagles to win the Super Bowl, and I think they will. But I think the Niners are going to win this game. Not because I think they're necessarily the better team. I mean, they're both great teams. But to your point, Rob, we've only had seven one-loss teams in uh, since 1978 when they went to the 16-game schedule. Think about what you just right, said. That's 45 years we've only had seven one-loss teams. And that's including the Patriots that went 16-0 and in, what was that, 07 or whenever that was, 07, I believe. So, Rob, you you know this. Just because you're the better team or the best team in the league, does you're going to lose typically three, four, five games in a year. It just is what it is. Right. Any given Sunday. And so I do think, to your point, Philly's a bit due. I mean, their last three weeks, my goodness, they have beaten Buffalo, Kansas City, and Dallas. And go back two weeks before that, they beat Miami. Like, they are, be- they are taking down the juggernauts in the NFL. Yep. At some point, they're going to drop one. Now, maybe it's next week in Dallas. I don't know. But I'm just saying, I, I think, and I also think the teams are closely matched. And uh, I-, I think San Francisco is going to get them. I won't be obviously surprised if they don't. But I, I think they'll get them. But it- that being the case, Rob, I still think it's disrespectful to Philadelphia. Yeah, but but again, it's it's not Vegas disrespecting them. It's Vegas trying to make money. So I hear what you're saying. Just just oh, how are we the underdogs at home and we won every game or we won ten out of eleven? But how often do you see odds? No, I get. I, I hear what you're saying, I, but it's I not. And I don't even mean the ten and one because we established that's the only time right. ever at home. But. You we don't generally see point spreads where we're baffled, where we're like, Mike, how in the world is are the Chargers favored over the Chiefs? Oh, they're just trying to get people to bet. No, I mean it, they still are somewhat within the realm of reason. And I get look, San Francisco's a really good team, so right. It's I guess it's reasonable to people, but uh, and I think they are going to win, but. I, I think I'll say this, Rob, as far as who the game is more important to. You can make an argument for Philadelphia because they're battling Dallas for that NFC East championship, but also for the number one seed in the NFC. Dallas, as I just said earlier, 13-0 and at home, won all their games by 20 or more points this year at home, uh, haven't trailed at home. But, Rob, Seven and seven over the last two years on the road. So if you're a Philadelphia, you're looking at, yeah, yeah, we do not want Dallas getting home court advantage, home field advantage. I know you think you can beat them wherever, but I'm just saying, you'd rather get them on the road. So it's big for them. But I think, Rob, psychologically is bigger for San Francisco. They've already lost three. Right. No, no, no. Right? So I I just think they don't want to. You know, now you're losing four, and now you got pretty much no chance at the number one seed. Yeah, no, and if they lose they another one. They beat you one, last year right. without Purdy, and you talk trash and said, oh, we didn't have our quarterback, but we'll get you when we do, you know? So I think it's more important for them. I, I, I agree with that. I, I, he, I think the 49ers, because of the bump in the road, Chris, was pretty big. Yep. It was. It, was, it wasn't just your typical maybe lose one or two, you know, good teams are going to do that. Uh, it was a bad stretch and another loss, too. And, and it, it does make a difference if you're not going to be, you know, the number one seed can have a huge, uh, make it for a huge advantage in the NFL. Yep. Yep. No. It... So it'll be interesting to see how this game plays out. Um, I'm going to take San Francisco. I think, A, you talked about it. They kind of need it, Chris. And B, I think the Eagles will do. Maybe they exhale because of the schedule that they just went through and just was like, "My God, how many can we? How many can we the win?" Eagles, yeah, Eagles. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like I we mean, just, we just won. We're not going to win every game. Like seriously, yeah. I don't think they think of it that way. But, but you, I, I, we think of it. I agree with you that 
and you're just going to lose one of these games. Right. It doesn't even have to be to a great team. Rob, they lost to the Jets. You know? Obviously, they're better than the Jets, but at some point, you're going to drop. I, I would say drop another one. Obviously, going undefeated the rest of the way is impossible, but you're likely to drop another one. Now, I, I certainly don't think they want to lose to Dallas next week in Dallas. So if they do lose tonight, they could be potentially looking at a two week, which would, you know, and they now have three losses, which would put Dallas as the number one seed. So that would really throw their season into some upheaval. But Rob, if they get through these next couple of games, they got the Niners tonight, then the Cowboys, then the Seahawks, they finished the season with the Giants twice and the Cardinals. So like you said, they just got to get through this gauntlet and then, you know, it should be honing everything for the playoffs after that. So 